Number four, there was no way in hell I was going to let these two movies take two individual spots. No, fuck that. They're bad for all the same fucking reasons. Number four, the next 365 days and 365 days this day. Honestly, they're so interchangeable. I don't even remember which details go into which movie. But anyways, if you haven't seen the first 365 days, don't. But also, okay, it's about a woman who gets kidnapped by this mafioso and she succumbs to Stockholm Syndrome while having kinky Fifty Shades of Grey as sex. That's it. That's the whole movie. And then these other two movies are just a continuation of that with cliffhangers. Every single one of these has to have a cliffhanger. Two out of the three movies end with the same cliffhanger of the lead girl being killed. So, <laughs> but she's never killed. She makes it all, every single time she makes it to, to the next fucking sequel. <gasps> and then the third one, it's not even going to be a trilogy. They, they end on another goddamn cliffhanger to set up a fourth movie. And I hate it. I hate that so much. My biggest problem here. My biggest problem here, it's not necessarily the Stockholm Syndrome from the first movie, because after that one, after you get into the second and third one, it's not even about that anymore, where it's a very gross idea, because at this point, you just kind of have to accept the fact that they're together, even though they are in a completely non-functioning relationship, they're together. My problem is, there's no chemistry between them, and it's boring! It's fucking boring! Because here's the formula. Sex scene, rich exploitation scenes. Sex scene, rich exploitation scenes. Sex scene, rich exploitation scenes. The, the, the mafioso brooding. A bunch of melodramatic bullshit about them splitting up only, uh, only for them to, you know, inevitably come back together because they're just oh so in love. No, they're not. They just want to bang. Mm. Sex scene. Fucking... <laughs> The sex scenes in the third one aren't even all that hot, honestly. At least in the second movie, I kind of remember them getting a little, little hot. I was like, all right, all right, all right, I'm into it. I'm into it a little bit. At least it's something, I guess. Like, it's a little sexy to watch. But by the time you get to the third movie, every sex scene is boring. You can't do that in a movie like this. If you're going to feed me trash, I know what this movie is for. It's to feed bored housewives trash, just visual trash to turn them on during the afternoon when they got nothing else going on. That's what these movies are for. And if you can't accomplish that, if you're failing at that, you really need to try harder. Ugh. Can't wait for the fourth one. Are you back, baby girl?